Hi, I'm Lizzie with Roth Girl Vintage. I have an Etsy that I sell on part-time, almost like a hobby at this point. I haven't really been listing lately, but I just ordered a 25 piece denim short lot. This is my first wholesale order I've ever placed. It was $1.99 including shipping and it's 25 pairs and it's shorts that have been cut all to a three inch inseam. They were previously like uneven or cut to weird lengths. And it's 25 pairs. They said it's gonna be 70s, 80s, and 90s. So I opened the box just so I wouldn't have to cut it on camera, but I haven't looked at it yet. So let's see what I got. Okay, the first pair, it says IOU quality clothing. Oh, and these are also supposed to be 30 to 36 inch waist. These look cute. IOU, I've never heard of that brand before. And these are, here's the tag, 30 to 34. I can hardly ever find shorts. So I was a little nervous about ordering this, but I thought it would be good because it could give me a lot of short inventory in one time. Sakura Sport, these say size eight. Those look a little 80s. No pockets on the back. These don't look like they have a brand. Ooh, those are cute. They have this little embroidered detail on the side. Let's see if I can find the tag. Congo Trader looks like is the brand. And it says size 18. I'm hoping some of these will fit me because I don't have any shorts right now. <laughs> No pockets in the back. These are for you from Spiegel. A light blue wash. Pockets. These are all actually looking like they're pretty big, which is good because usually pants and shorts that are vintage are always so small. And I feel bad because I want to offer more like larger sizes, but I just can't find them. These are a dark wash. I don't see a tag or a brand anywhere. These look a little smaller. Bonjour, Paris, New York size 14 these are a little acid washy cute gap these are this is waist 33 might get a little boring because these are all kind of similar <laughs> okay these look like they might be 70s this is rustler here's the tag I was hoping I would get some 70s these are cute Dusty. <laughs> These are also Gap. Here's the, it's kind of hard to see. I don't see a size tag. Oh, wait, here it is. 
These were jeans, waist 36, length 30 it says. So they're all cut off, so you could just like roll them up if you don't like that fringy look at the bottom. Sergio Valente. Never heard of that brand either. They say made in Hong Kong. Size 36. These have unique pockets on the back. These are super cute. Hitano. Size 20. Here's the tag. I don't know how old this brand is, but these look like they could also be 70s. Super cute. In a large size. I was kind of nervous when I ordered these. I was like, I messaged the person. I said, are they all in good condition? And she was like, of course. I have seen um, people order stuff from like vintage warehouses online, YouTube and stuff. And they got like a bunch of stained stuff, which I wasn't expecting, but you know, I didn't think it would hurt to ask. <laughs> but she said, I would never sell something that I wouldn't want to buy, which you would think is common sense, but not everyone is like that. <laughs> this brand is called Nixit Innovative Jeans. I've never heard of this brand either. 100% cotton made in Philippines. 31M it says. Have a cute little detail on the pocket. Oh, and the back pockets are kind of slanted too. That's pretty cool. So far, I'm pretty happy. These are all like, they all have um, little individual things about them. They're not all just like plain shorts, which I was kind of afraid of. George Marciano for guests. These look like they might be like 80s. And then they have that classic guest triangle on the back. Union Bay. These look like they're probably like 90s. You have this cool patch on the pocket. Calvin Klein. This has some really good brands. I'm really happy with this. Um, it says size 34. It's a dark blue denim. <clears throat> Britannia. The leather is gone, but there's the tag. More 80s acid wash. The button looks kind of cool. Hmm. Just those plain pockets. Let's see. Plain pockets must be the brand name because it's on the <laughs> button as well. Never heard of this one either. These look like they could be 70s. I don't see a size tag. Cute. I think I've said every pair is cute. <laughs> they have this little distressing in the front. That looks cool. Jordash. These are probably like 80s or maybe 90s. Another 
plain pockets. They look about the same as the other pair. They're like a thicker denim. They also have that distressing on the thigh. Mm. Oh, here's a size tag in this one. Oh, JC Penny is where they're from. Another pair from Gap. These feel like they're probably 90s. <clears throat> Another darker pair, Calvin Klein. These pockets are cool. It's a size 36. I'm a 36, so I might be in trouble. Looks like a lot of these might fit me. <laughs> I'll have plenty of shorts this summer. Um, Bugle Boy. These are cool, they have like a wear from somebody's wallet. I always think that looks kind of cool. Oshkosh Bagash. Here's the brand. These look like they could be 70s. I'm not sure when Oshkosh Bagash was made. Oh yeah, it has this union tag. I've actually never seen this union tag. I'll have to look it up and see when it's from. Made in USA, 100% cotton. Looks like the rest of them are dark. More plain pockets. <laughs> One more pair. I don't think these have a brand either. These also look, oh, these are from Sears. These look like they're probably 70s too. That's a really old tag. Okay, let's count one. Two. <laughs> I don't know sometimes they give you extra so yeah I'm gonna have these listed on my Etsy shop coming soon but if you see any that you want I know they're all kind of similar so it might be kind of hard to describe which ones they were but if you see any that you want just email me or hit me up on Instagram my Instagram is Roth girl vintage and I'm gonna be doing some markets soon so I might sell some in person but if you don't see them on my Etsy shop just hit me up and ask about them so if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and thank you for watching see you on the next one bye <laughs>